On this date in Missouri Senate history, the date was July 22, 1861, the day Hamilton Gamble was appointed Missouri's new governor. He was born in Virginia in 1798 and moved to St. Louis 20 years later. In the years that would follow, Gamble would become a lawyer and then prosecuting attorney for the Circuit Court of Howard County. By 1824, then-Governor Frederick Bates would appoint Gamble Secretary of State. He would then be elected to the Missouri Supreme Court in 1846. Soon after, he would become Chief Justice but then resign in 1855 due to his health. By the time the Civil War had started, Missouri voters chose to put a state constitutional convention in place, which opted against leaving the Union and remaining neutral. Soon after, federal troops overtook Jefferson City and state government was taken to Neosho. The Constitutional Convention met again, declared the governor's office and legislature vacant, and appointed Gamble as governor of the state's provisional government. Technically, the state had two governments during most of the Civil War. A broken arm would lead to an infection, which is what killed Gamble in 1864. He died in office. July 22, 1861, the date marking appointment of Hamilton Gamble as Missouri governor on this date in Missouri Senate history.